Hey, how's it going? Today I want to talk about my um, spoil board setup. This is a custom design that I did. It's four inches and then it's two inches and it's kind of off center so that there's two by fours could fit in between, you know, here with a wedge and there's all kinds of good possibilities with this, but there's no metal on the um, surface. And if you could see here, let me zoom in for you. If you could see here, I've got quite a bit of meat um, before you can see the bottom of that nut. So that's the bottom back side of the nut. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I have it. Over here. So underneath here, I custom made these brackets so that they fit into the rail on the extrusion and then it's just a matter of screwing it up on the board from the bottom up. And then these boards have, like I said, there's screws, there's nuts in there so that it'll hold it all, hold it all together. Um, and uh, they're not nuts actually, they're inserts. So they're a threaded insert, kind of like this. And then that way it can bolt in secure all these pieces and like these pieces these are only quarter pieces so if I have to replace just one if I really screwed something up it only goes from here to there and then from there to there um, and then once you surface it it's square to the table and then once you put this to the corner it kind of knows where the corner is and then how I usually affix things is I'll just take a screwdriver take some screws and go right in there and you can see I've got a lot of different various screw holes over the over the period. And I do need to surface it again, but that's what's nice. I've got so much meat here that I can just surface it flat. All the holes go all the way through, so I don't have to mess with those again. And then it'll just be all smooth surface. I use dowels to square everything up typically. And then if I need to secure it, it's usually screws. In this case, I've got a cut that these are gonna be taking up so much they're gonna be so close on the edges that I've got, what I've got here is composite nails. So this is a nail gun, but the, but the actual nails are composite plastic. So I don't know if you can kind of see there. That's a composite plastic that, um, so these are composite plastic. So that way if the cutter head runs across this, and hits one of these, it's not gonna damage the head. It'll just zip over it like it's flat, like it's um, wood. So it works out pretty good. But yeah, spoiler board information. Thanks for watching.